Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So, exciting announcement from Fuji. We've previously had the X100, now Fuji's announcing the X10. This could be the best compact point and shoot we've seen to date um, for a number of reasons, which I'm gonna go over the points that I really like for you here. Um, but this thing looks really cool and not just because of the specs, it's something about it, the retro design like the X100, that just makes it endearing um, to look at, to hold, to make you want to buy one of these things. You want to own one just because it's cool. Um, so basically, Fuji, I've got the announcement here, and Fuji's saying this is a new premium compact, features a two-thirds inch 12 megapixel EXR CMOS sensor. So this is the big thing right here, is this sensor probably is going to be the best sensor in any point and shoot compact to date, except for perhaps the X100, uh, which really isn't a point and shoot compact. So uh, think of the Nikon P7000, the Canon G11 and G12, and then this here, the X10, is going to, uh, I would think, because of uh, Fuji's EXR CMOS sensor technology that this is going to trump both of those Nikon and Canon cameras uh, and, and come out with the best image quality in a compact point and shoot, which is going to be awesome. Uh, it's got a high definition f2 wide angle and f2.8 telephoto four times zoom lens. That's awesome. f2 at the wide end, really, really good. Um, Fuji saying it's a highly advanced compact. It has a lightweight yet ultra strong die cast mag alloy upper deck and base. So really solid metal uh, constructed base, mag alloy. This is really positive, solid construction. And it's got uh, milled aluminum mode dials and lens rings. So again, lots of uh, metal in here, lots of uh, solid construction and just a really cool look. Think back like a rangefinder like look, just like the X100. Um, the lens, the new Fujinon 4x lens looks awesome. It's got a metal barrel, solidly constructed, claiming very smooth um, operation with it. And they've also got a newly developed optical image stabilization system on this. So this should be interesting to see uh, how well this works. It's newly developed, so is it the best of the best now in compact point and shoots? We will see. Um, the lens also is capable of super macro shots up to a centimeter uh, a far, uh, in, uh, away from what you're shooting. So that's really cool. That's really good spec right there. The, the, again, the two-thirds inch sensor, um, nothing really is probably going to compare to this. As, uh, what we have to date anyways is probably going to be the best sensor to date in a camera like this. Um, some really neat modes that are of interest. We've got the SN mode, high sensitivity, low noise mode. We've got the DR uh, mode, which is wide dynamic range mode. We've got the HR mode, which is high resolution mode. So you can switch between any of these modes, depending upon what your needs are, as far as if you're shooting in dim lighting, if you're out doing landscapes and you want wide dynamic range, or if you want maximum resolution and you're shooting a landscape, something like that. Really cool. Very fast shooting camera, seven frames per second at the full 12 megapixels, and it goes to 10 frames per second at reduced resolution of medium size. That's cool. This thing also supports full RAW and in-camera RAW processing, so that's really cool too. I don't like cameras that won't give me a RAW mode. I like to fiddle with my, my photos in RAW to get the maximum quality. The X10 will do that. Um, super quick, super speedy, they say, shutter release time lag of 0 0.01 seconds that's very good uh, let's see how that is in uh, in practice new 49 point matrix contrast af system and also full 1080p video hd videos in uh, the x10 at full 1080p so these are awesome points here um, i think i'm going to get on the uh, pre-order list for an x10 the uh it's got the as they say it has inherited the look and feel of the x100 Made in Japan, seal of quality as well. Really good stuff there. And a few other points that I found interesting for this was uh, it's got the, all the manual shooting modes, so that's really cool. Um, Startup time for, uh, for power up of 0.8 seconds, so that's excellent too. A lot of times compacts take a while to start up. This one doesn't look like that's going to be an issue. 
uh, manual pop-up flash that's excellent too you'll be able to control it manually 2.8 inch 460k high contrast lcd monitor this is pretty good it's not as good as a, as a dslr at uh, you know a million dot but still not bad it's uh, it should be pretty decent it's almost the three inch and it's 268 or 460k so it's about half of uh, of the million that we see on the dslr so still should be pretty good especially for a compact point and shoot Electronic Horizon Leveling Gauge. I use it all the time on my D7000. I love this gadget. You turn it on, you're holding the camera, and it's just like having a level. You can see exactly where you are for being level. So you don't need to have that on your tripod or buy an external gadget. Um, four diverse auto bracketing functions for exposure, ISO, dynamic range, and film simulation. This is cool too because it gives you some options and doesn't leave you restricted to having shot something and don't like it because you can bracket it and you'll have it in every different type. So pretty cool. Some really cool accessories. The retro leather case that this thing is uh, comes available with this thing looks really neat. Again, think to Leica. Looks really cool. I think that's what Fuji is aiming at here, and it's a really neat look. Um, it has a machine metal lens hood available, which is a really nice thing to have as an option as well. And a TTL flash is available. So those are the things that I find of interest, the points that I find of interest with the Fuji X10. Um, I'm really liking the look of this thing. I'm going to go and play with one as soon as possible. I'm going to put one on pre-order so I have a shot at one of the first ones that come in in my area. And um, if I pick one up, I will definitely do a, uh, a hands-on review for you and uh, let you know what I think. Um, let me know what you think. Is this a camera you're interested in? Would you buy this over the X100? Uh, is price an issue? And um, do you not like it? Is there a reason why? Anyways, give me some comments, give me some feedback there. Let me know your thoughts on it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. And once again, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, please check out my uh, children's book website. Um, I'm an author of children's books as well. It's pumpernickelpark.com. I'll put the link below. Some great ebooks available for use on the iPad, iPod, iPhone, look at them on the computer. Great to keep kids entertained, and uh, you could check them out there. They're 99 cents each, so they're great value. And um, also, if you've got older kids that like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, I've got the Diary of a Nerd King series that we started this summer, and it's available for free online at nerdkingdiary.com. So you can check it out, the link's below. Thanks. Uh, if you know anyone with the kids, pass it on. Appreciate the help there. Talk to you soon, folks.